Hey there, this is ProFlows number 41. I'm Cameron. And in this quick tutorial, I wanna show you how to give more depth, more life to your photos inside of After Effects. So here you can see I have a photo called road.jpg, and it's just a quick uh, keyframing of the position where we're moving from top to bottom and just giving the photo a little bit of motion, but we can make this much, much more interesting without using position keyframes. And let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna turn off the keyframes here for position. Go ahead and close that up. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna create a new solid and I'm gonna make it 100% white. And we're gonna call this um, layer one. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit T for transparency, turn down the opacity just so I can see through here. And I'm select my pen tool and I'm just gonna very quickly create a very rough mask around my foreground layer here, which is my road here in the foreground. And something like that. Hit F and I'm going to feather it. Oh, maybe somewhere in here. Hit T for transparency and turn it back up. And just make sure that I've got my road pretty much covered here. Nothing doesn't have to be perfect. Cool. I'm going to create another new solid and this one I'm going to make a little more on the gray side, somewhere right, maybe right here. And we will call this layer two. Hit T for transparency, turn down the transparency, pen tool, and I'm going to select the next layer, which is this they're right in here, just going a little bit further back in Z space here. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And it's gonna overlap behind the white solid. So I'll just bring the mask down here, hit F for feather, bring it up to 58, T for transparency, bring back the transparency so I can see it and make sure my layer is covered here. Just like that. I'm gonna bring it down behind my white solid. So there we go. I'm gonna create another new solid. We'll call this layer three. And we're gonna make it a little more gray. Maybe right there. Okay. T for transparency to take down the transparency. And this one I'm gonna go somewhere back in here. So P for pen. Let's draw it on here just like this. F for feather, like so. T for transparency, bring up the transparency, make sure it's covered up as well. You know, something like so. Bring it down to the bottom and maybe adjust it a little bit more here. Okay, so let's do one more layer and we'll go layer, new solid, and we're gonna make this one black. And this will be called background. Bring it to the bottom of the stacking order, close these all up. I'm gonna select one, two, three, and background, and I'm gonna right click and say pre-compose. And we're gonna call this, we're gonna call this depth. There we go, and we can turn that layer off. Now back to the road layer, we're gonna select that road, we're gonna go to effect, we're gonna go to distort, displacement map. We're gonna change the displacement map layer to depth, and we're gonna change red to luminance, green to luminance, and then we're gonna set a keyframe here, and we're gonna change this vertical displacement to something like 36. And let's expand, let's actually stretch this map to fit. There we go. Go to the end of our timeline and we're gonna change it to negative 25. And let's preview this and see how it looks. And that's how you create some displacement mapping parallaxing inside of After Effects.